today we're going to talk about uh, the Italian Mafia in America, their history and uh, how it all started. So the Italian Mafia uh, network of criminal organization from Italy has uh, long had uh, has has long has had a significant and notorious presence in the United States. Uh, from the early 1900s, uh, the Mafia has uh, played a pivotal role in America's criminal underworld, engaging in uh, illegal activities uh, such as uh, drug tra trafficking, uh, money laundering, and illegal gambling. Despite decades of law enforcement, at first, the Italian Mafia uh, continues to operate in America, uh, a testament to the uh, resilience and uh, adap adaptability and uh, of this criminal networks. So, in this episode, we will uh, uh, dive into the dark and bloody history of the Italian Mafia. In America, exploring its origins, the K figures, and the enduring legacy of organized crime in the United States. So, origins and uh, arrival in America of the Italian mafia has its uh, roots in uh, Sicily, and an 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 autonomous of Italy, where it emerged as a sacred society in the 19th century. Uh, the Mafia's primary, primary purpose was to protect and uh, serve the interests of its members uh, using violence and uh, intimidation to achieve its goals. And uh, as uh, Italian immigrants began to arrive in the United States in the uh, late 19th and early 20th centuries. Uh, they brought with them uh, the Mafia structure and traditions, establishing themselves in urban centers such as uh, New York City, Chicago, and New Orleans. Uh, the Italian themselves in urban centers uh, such as uh, New York. Uh, yeah, I said before, uh, the Italian mafia quickly became uh, a force to be reckoned within uh, America's criminal underworld. So, uh, prohibition and uh, the rise of uh, organized crime. Uh, the Prohibition era of uh, the 1920s provided the Italian Mafia with a golden opportunity to expand its operations and influence in America, with the sale and production of alcohol being illegal, the Mafia was able to capitalize on the demand for uh, illicit li liqueur, generating immense profits and power. Like, uh, we can see that uh, being alcohol illegal, it was like uh, uh, the golden time. Uh, it was like, uh, was the main uh, profit resource for them at that time. And uh, their first big profit uh, come from this uh, selling illegal alcohol. They was getting that from uh, Canada and uh, and other countries. Uh, this period uh, saw the rise of notorious mobsters such as uh, Al Capone and uh, Lucky Luciano, who would come to symbolize the ruth ruthlessness and cunning of the American mafia. Uh, prohibition also led to an, an increase in, in uh, violence and uh, corruption as uh, rival gangs fought for control of the lucrative uh, uh, bootlegging trade and law enforcement officials were often bribed or coerced into turning a blind eye. Uh, 
after there it come there was a time of um, uh, the five families and the mafia's golden age uh, the 1930s and 1940s uh, marked the height of the Italian mafia's power in America as the organization be became more sophisticated and structured it was during this time that uh, the infamous quote unquote families quote of New York uh, New York City the Bonanna Colombo Gambino it's it's the name of the families like Bonanna Colombo Gambino uh, Genovese and uh, Lu Lucchese crime families were established becoming the most powerful criminal syndicates in the in the country uh, the five families along with the other mafia groups uh, controlled various illegal industries as uh, a gambling loan sharking uh, and labor uh, record rec 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 and uh, wield a significant influence uh, in both uh, the criminal and the legitimate worlds so after the it, uh, it comes uh, the mafia's uh, decline and adaptation adaptation sorry the 1950s and 1960s saw uh, the beginning of mafia's decline in america as um, a law enforcement agencies be began to track down on organized crime uh, the fbi under the direction of uh, g edger hoover made the mafia uh, a top priority you know using uh, wire types and uh, uh, informants to gather intelligence and uh, dismantle criminal networks the racketeer influenced and corrupt uh, organi organization it's, it has an abbreviation r-i-c-o uh, i think it's uh, called like a RICO yeah act a RICO act passed in 1970s uh, gave law enforcement even more tools um, to combat the mafia resulting in the arrest and the conviction of many high-profile uh, mobsters however uh, Italian the, the Italian mafia proved uh, to be remarkably adaptable uh, shifting its focus to to new criminal enterprises and maintaining a lower profile uh, the mafia continued to engage in uh, drug trafficking money laundering and uh, illegal gambling as well as infiltrating legitimate uh, business to generate revenue and maintain an influence so today Italian mafia in America uh, despite the efforts of law enforcement the Italian mafia's presence in America endures uh, where it's no longer uh, the dominant dominant force uh, it it once was uh, the mafia continues to operate uh, in various illegal industries uh, demonstrating a remarkably ability to adapt and survive uh, the Italian mafia has also spawned numerous uh, of shots of shoots and uh, copycat organizations such as the Russian mafia and the Chinese tri triads further complicating the landscape of uh, organized crime in the United States in conclusion we can say that uh, the Italian mafia in America has left and uh, in the in an indelible mark of the nation uh, of the nation's history serving as a stark uh, reminder of the dark and violent underbelly of organized crime uh, the mafia's legal, legal legacy legacy of crime and intrigue continues uh, to cap captivate the public's imagination inspiring countless books movies uh, and television series so as we reflected on the uh, italian mafia's impact in america we must also uh, acknowledge uh, the uh, resilience uh, and adaptability of this uh, 
uh, criminal organizations and uh, the continued efforts of uh, law enforcement to combat their uh, illegal activities. Uh, but I think uh, nowadays uh, this kind of you know old-fashioned methods not work anymore for this kind of illegal activities because um, uh, if because uh, nowadays uh, criminals I think are uh, making money online much making online money much more money online uh, than uh, doing this kind of shit uh, like back in the days yeah it's just uh, you know it's just a new time for new criminal activities and uh, even though I think it uh, looks peaceful at the street uh, it's not so good looks uh, on the internet you know time changing and uh, they also as we can see uh, adapting their skills uh, to the new time to the new technology yeah thank you for listening if you like this video share with your friends and uh, subscribe to this uh, channel